the Volvo EX30, Volvo's smallest and cheapest electric car to date, a small electric crossover to slot below the Volvo C40 and XC40 in size and price is going to be launched and revealed to the world in less than a week. Next Wednesday, June 7th, is the world premiere of the small electric crossover. And I'm actually going to that premiere in Italy. So if you don't want to miss out on my exclusive world premiere tour, exterior, interior, and all the details about this car, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you get a notification when that video goes live next Wednesday. And also, if you want a little bit more behind the scenes, a little bit of vlogging of the event down there, please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I've actually started a new personal, a little bit of personal Instagram page where I'm going to do a little bit more vlogging, not so car centric, but next week I'm planning to vlog the whole event. So if you want exclusive behind the scenes content, please be sure to follow me on Instagram. Now let's take a look at the first leaked photos of the brand new Volvo EX30. And these leaked actually about three to four weeks ago, right after I uploaded a video on the Volvo EX30. I just made a video and these photos leaked and I'm like, oh, I don't have enough content to make a brand new video right afterwards. But now we do because we have even more leaked photos that we're gonna get to later in this video. But I wanna talk about these patented renders first. So these are pretty bankers. This is what the EX30 is going to look like, though without color, without details like badging, without details like wheels. and. This isn't a surprise. I mean, it carries much of the same design language as the Volvo XC40, C40, and the brand new Volvo EX90. So the front end, very reminiscent of the Volvo EX90. It has those same new style Thor's hammer LED lights, though it doesn't have the nail below the hammer that you find in the EX90. And also it doesn't seem to have that opening, you know, headlight mechanism. The headlights seem to be placed inboard of the Thor's hammer part of the headlight, which is nice. I mean, it's going to save cost. It's also going to be cheaper to repair and not as fancy, but this is also a much, much cheaper car. Looking at it from the side also looks very XC40 like with the profile, with the door handles, the way, you know, the, the back door kicks up on the C pillar and just the whole C pillar design. Also, I forgot to say that the front end also very much reminiscent of that Volvo EX90. There's no fake grille anymore like you would find in the Volvo C40 and Volvo XC40. It has that clean look like in the EX90. I actually don't mind that fake grille. I think it gives it a little bit of a face, a little bit of a personality. But I also really do like the new front end of the Volvo EX90. So I like them both. I think Volvo design is great either way. There's no fake grill, but there's also uh, inlets for cooling, probably radiators behind the lower front part of the bumper to cool down, well, the air conditioning system to cool down the heating and cooling system for the battery. Let's move over to the actual top view. You can see that this has a black roof. I think it's black painted. Also, the, the windshield in front is, is black, but I think you're gonna be able to option this with a panoramic sunroof. Rear end, very, very similar to what we find in the Volvo EX90, same basic design language, and you can see that the top part and the bottom part of the rear lights are separated like we first saw in the Volvo C40, and we last saw in the Volvo EX90. 90. You also have the same frameless mirrors as you do have in all new Volvos. And overall, I think it's a very attractive design from the front three quarter and also the rear three quarter. Before I show you guys the latest leaked photos of the Volvo EX30, I just want to give a huge thanks to today's video sponsor, Elton. Elton is the most awesome charging app if you live in Norway, Sweden, Finland or Denmark or you plan coming to one of these countries, if not all of them, this summer on holiday and you have an electric car, you're going to rent an electric car or just use an electric car for travel because this one app lets you charge at almost all charge point operators in all of these countries. So 
one charging interface, one map interface. You can sort between speed of chargers. You can find all the chargers in one map. And you can also see if the chargers are vacant or occupied in real time. If all of them are occupied, it will actually give you a queue or wait time prediction. You also have wait time. You also have navigation. I mean, this app has everything. So you register one payment card once and that lets you charge at almost all charge point operators in Norway, Sweden, Finland, or Denmark. So if you plan on traveling in any, if not all of these countries this summer, I would highly recommend you guys to go to the link down below and download the Elton charging app. Now for the latest photo. So starting with a front three quarter zoomed in view of those headlights and you can see that the front fender kind of bulges like this which is very very interesting at least from this angle the wheel arches the line the hood shut line follows the same and also the hood follows that same contour the headlights very reminiscent as i said of the volvo ex90 headlights and from this angle it looks kind of kind of awesome and then we have a rear three quarter also zoomed in very much like the photos I just showed you these patented renders. And you can see that the roof line actually slopes a little bit, but also the belt line comes high up. So I think that's a little bit of an optic illusion. I think this is gonna have a lot of space on the interior for being this size of vehicle. And remember guys, this is on the SEA platform and closely related to the brand new Smart Hashtag One and the Zeker X. It's gonna share pretty much the same batteries and same range. So in top spec, we're talking about 400 to 430 kilometers of range from a 64 to 66 kilowatt hour battery pack usable capacity. But yeah, these photos looking pretty good. You can see the charge port on the rear left side of the car. And also you can see, you know, how that back door kicks up. It's, it's actually very, very good looking. You also have a view from far away. This is, I think was the first leaked photo on Volvo's own homepage. And after that, I think they just had to reveal the rest of the photos like this, but they're kind of shaded. So kind of a little bit of like a shadowy contour. We can't see all the details, but we can see how the rear lights are illuminated. And also the size of the car, it looks kind of small. Uh, we have another photo of the hood here, not m much to see there. We also have the frameless mirrors that you know Volvo and Polestar first came out with, with the Polestar 2 patented design. Patented design. And we have one photo here of the interior. We actually have two in total. And what people have been complaining about here is that there's one central screen. I think it's 12.3 inches. I actually knew this like two weeks ago because somebody I know who works somewhere in the Geely group actually leaked this information to me. It's like, oh, bad news. This car is only going to have one screen. It's a central screen like in a Tesla Model 3 or Y. I'm not too negative about that because if you've seen any of my Tesla Model Y or Model 3 reviews, I don't mind that too much actually. Is it a deal breaker for me? Not at all. For a lot of people, it may be an annoyance, but as long as it's set up pretty nicely, you're, it's going to be right there in your line of sight. And I mean, we've been doing cars with central speedometers and displays for, for, for many, many years. So it's a design choice. It's a style choice. Do I mind it? No, wish, do, do I wish it had, you know, a, a screen in front of the driver? Yes, I absolutely do. So this is an interesting design language. I think this is kind of takes a little bit of what we've seen in the Volvo XC40 and C40 and modernizes it. It's a little bit different from what we've seen before. Also, you can see that it looks like there's a sound bar on top of the dashboard where it says it's not, it's not legible, but it looks like it says Harman. Carden. So this is most likely going to have a Harman Kardon sound system. It also seems to have the gear selector on the stock on the right side, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's going to be okay. I hope so. Second interior photo, you can see that the vents here, this is what I'm talking about, these vertical vents that are kind of similar to what we see in the Volvo XC40 and C40, but they are different. Also, there's a small EX30 on the dashboard here. I think that's just a fun render. I don't think it's going to look like that. Also, we have a few interior option colors. We have light gray, we have like a bluish gray, we have a dark blue, and then we have a green. All of these looks like, looks like to be fabrics, and yeah, looks pretty cool and awesome. Lastly, we have some sketches of the center console. 
the design there and the functionality. We have some drawers, we have some cup holders here. We have a drawer cup holder that seems like we can slide in and out of that central armrest. And also we have a little bit of door design here. Uh, yeah, big door bins. Looks a little bit like we saw in the Polestar 4. 4 actually, Polestar 4, yeah. I get those mixed up. And also it looks like we have a phone, uh, uh, it looks like we have a wireless charger. It's Tesla style on the center console. So there we have it guys. Those were the leaked photos of the brand new Volvo EX30 as we ramp up to the launch in less than a week. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you excited about this car? This is going to be hopefully a not very expensive relatively set to the competition electric car from Volvo. It's going to be small, compact and cool. And I'm pretty excited. So let me know what you think down below. And if you don't want to miss out on my exclusive tour of this car that launches in less than a week, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And also lastly, if you want to see behind the scenes content, me vlogging from the event and maybe you'll get a sneak peek of this car before the actual launch, please be sure to follow me on Instagram. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys later. Goodbye.